There's um, no LiDAR in this. There's no LiDAR yeah. or hands. Um, I'm Georgikis, Director of Engineering at Tobor Life. I'm Corey Duval, Support Engineer here at Tobor Life. We haven't seen it in person yet, but we've seen the videos online. The video looks really impressive. Um, they've got a number of things about this new robot that are uh, improvements on previous ones, things like making it lighter and cheaper uh, while still maintaining the, the functionality. Uh, we watched that robot in the video do a bunch of impressive running around and punches and cartwheels. Uh, it was very interesting looking. One of the cool pieces of the R1 is that it is customizable in the color combinations you can get for it, which is very exciting for us at Tober Life as we're interested in getting a purple one to dance around our showroom and draw attention to our robots. So R1 is much easier to have out of the box and get working and have it do something impressive. So if you've got a, uh, a small business that is trying to uh, attract attention to it, or if you've got an event, uh, you know, a fancy party and you wanna have a humanoid walking around, the R1 is lighter, it has tricks right out of the box, uh, and also you can customize it. As George was mentioning, you could get it in whatever maybe your company colors are, or if you have you know, a color scheme that you wanna maintain. Uh, that's something that Unitree is aiming to provide for you. My belief is also that the, they are targeting their boxing and kickboxing skill sets for robots for use with the R1. And so if you're interested in hosting robot fights, then the R1 seems to be the best platform for that. Now they haven't confirmed that. However, that's what I believe is coming. So uh, just like most of the other Unitree robots, there is a R1 standard version and an R1 EDU version. And the big difference here is that the EDU version comes with a secondary computer that you can uh, upload your own code to, to have the robot do things that it wasn't initially uh, coded to do out of the box. This is functionalities like moving around, accessing sensors uh, that are already on the robot or sensors you might add to it. And this gives it a lot more functionality. It depends what you're doing with each robot. The G1 will remain the best option for, and by far the best option for dexterous manipulation and navigation based tasks. It has a LiDAR, which the R1 does not have. And as such for traditional robotics uses like manipulation, the, the G1 is still the premier humanoid robot in the world for people to develop on in an educational environment. To add on something, there are a couple things about R1 that might be attractive if you don't need all the, of the functionalities George mentioned about the G1. Uh, things like having a slightly lesser price tag, things like being lighter, things like having more plastic parts that are easier to work with. These things are upsides in the right scenarios. We have a lot of potential robot buyers here at Tobor Life that are interested in a robot that wows everybody and shows off. If that's what you want out of a robot, the R1 is the one for you. This one does very impressive things at a much lower price point than any other humanoid we've really seen on the market so far. I think it will make having those flamboyantly gymnastic robot movements that Unitree so often advertises more accessible on a smaller platform. A large humanoid doing those movements is risky. If the humanoid falls over, it can break. Even if the robot's capable of doing the movements, that doesn't mean that it won't break doing them. And the R1 is a step in the direction of bringing those exciting athletic maneuvers to whoever wants them. And I see this thing in lots of different places. I, I can see these big tech companies getting into robotics, employing them for learning to handle complex terrain with robots. I see them using them to research interesting movements that they're curious about. And I think that the R1 does hold a very interesting place in the robotic humanoid landscape as a, a, an accessible robot for those athletic gymnastic movements. I was like, Abby was surprised.
Yeah. Just literally surprised for the picture for something. <laughs> like, uh, like the YouTube one. The clickbait. Yeah. <laughs> We're like pointing at an R1. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs>